Okay, hey guys, what's up? Today, on this channel, I've, uh, the Protestant way, we are going to talk about a show that's on TV that I hate. Now, when I say show, I don't mean, like, the Muppets or something like that. I mean, it's more of a show where, you know, I'm just gonna say it. It's The View. I hate The View. I mean... The view from my house is great, but I mean, the TV show is the, the, the view when I watch the view sucks. So, therefore, we're going to talk about why I don't like the view and uh, why there are a bunch of nagging women. In some cases, that don't really have... I only agree with people who ha have the same thoughts as they do. They don't, you know, try to understand the whole thing. They just jump to what the the liberalists, li yeah, say, and they don't really take. They don't really do any uh, research on their own when it comes to the other side of the story, with the exception of uh, the I forget the, her name, but um. And now, I'm mostly keep talking about, uh, Whoopi, and, uh, I think her name's Joyce, the redhead, and, yeah, those two, kinda. But they're all kind of, like, rude and ignorant. I'm just gonna say that. They're all, in some shape, way, or form, rude or ignorant to the other side of the story. And, with that, that's how we're going to start this video off. Haha, -ha, I don't know why I'm talking to a mic. Oh! Oh! Now, we will begin with my first idea. So, I should keep in mind that, um, I don't hate all, I don't hate them, like, I don't hate the people, I just disagree with them as a, as a panel of women talking about stuff. That sounded really sexist. I am not sexist. At all. Let's, let, let's just, let's, as we all know, that media today in America is mostly liberal. We, by, and that means that everything is taken to such extremes, just as, such as gun control, how we don't need guns, oh, we should be taking them away, oh, uh, and, uh, abortion, um, that's still an iffy topic, I don't want to bring that up. And, um, just other stupid stuff that's going on. They are extremely on the left side. Like, they are on the, the, they're left wingers. And, wingers. <laughs> Anyways, uh, they are very close minded. They can decide with only things that they see is fit. Which, yeah, I get it. That's like human nature to only agree with what you agree with. But, you also have to keep an open mind and not be so easily judgmental towards people. Like, just like whenever they had Dr. Ben Carson on The View, and they were very disrespectful towards him. Uh, they took him for an idiot, which, uh, he very easily showed them why he is an idiot. I mean, it's not that hard. Even I could go on the show and show them how they're all idiots. I mean, and I'm not that smart either. But, I mean, still. Anyways, um, they just, like, they were very disrespectful to Ben Carson and any other Republican candidates they had on their, uh, show. Now, I, I usually only watch The View if they are having a, uh, presidential candidate running, I mean, on the show. So I don't watch it every day. However, um, what I noticed was that... The reaction from Bernie Sanders when he was on the other day, and whenever they had uh, Ben Carson on, was... Uh, the, the the reactions were so different. Same thing with Trump. Any Republican candidate, they're like... They're like, uh, making fun of them and stuff like that, but... When it comes to Democratic candidates, they're just like... Pray you... Allah... And I don't even know what, what, what I was just doing there, but... They, they are like on the bandwagon with Democrats. Doesn't matter who they are. I mean, they think Hillary's a great candidate. <laughs> One person even said that they 
I think it was Joyce that said that they would vote for Hillary just because she's a woman. Just because she is a woman does not make her a good candidate. Now, keep in mind, I have nothing against women running for president. I have something against Hillary running for president. I do not think she is honest. I know a lot of uh, uh, politicians aren't honest. They all lie at some point. Hillary is by far the worst liar of them all. And by that, just, you can see whenever you watch her on the news. I'm going to turn this light on now because it's outside up right here. You can see whenever you watch the news and stuff like that, anything where she's talking, you can kind of pick out her lies, like, very easily. Okay, I'm back. Talk now, actually, in case you haven't noticed, um, this is a costume change. I was not wearing this yesterday. Uh, the reason why I'm not wearing the same shirt and it's not the same time as I was recording the video is because my parents came home in the middle of recording the video and I couldn't, uh, finish it. So, today, I'm going to finish the same video. So, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> with that in mind, let's just start from where I left off. So, last thing I said was Hillary was a, re was a really obvious liar. Now, maybe it's just me, but I always have this thing where I can always tell when someone's lying. One of my great, uh, traits, I guess you can call it. What this means is that I don't think she's gonna be make presidency. There's no way, she's too much... She's in too much hot water right now, like, with the Benghazi thing, all that, I don't know if she's gonna win. And if people actually vote for her, then, uh, you can just basically, uh, unfollow me, unfriend me, you know, whatever, on any social media website. I don't care. Bernie Sanders, on the other hand, he's alright. I can tolerate him, which is fine. So, it's not like I'm against Democrats at all. Bernie Sanders is alright, but Hillary is just, no. Mm-mm. Nope. Mm-mm. 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 Anyways, this is going, like, off of The View, but I wanted, what I want to talk about is that the people in The View uh, are all, like, very, uh, ignorant of a lot of things, like I said before, and one of the ladies on there even said that we need to make sh they need to make sure that they get both sides of the story before they, uh, make, take a this conclusion, or else people would think they're not being fair. And then, right after they said, and then everyone at the table said, oh, we get both sides of the story. And, <clears throat> and right after that, I forget what came on, but right after that, they were just like, Oh, Republicans are stupid, or something along those lines. And I was just like, wow, okay. Um, so, I guess you don't get both sides of the story, or else you would understand that. And, and I, what, what do you expect? They're being paid to be stupid, basically. So, I mean, hell, if I didn't have to think, I would go on that show and and get paid for it. Jeez. I mean, come on. Well, bottom line is, I know I'm kind of being a bit, like, harsh with this video, but watch it. Watch the view, like, whenever they have a Republican candidate on, and then watch whenever they have a Democratic public, uh, candidate on. You'll see a much, di much bigger difference. It's insane. I don't know. I don't really see the point of the view. Like I said, they only really agree with people that are liberals, they don't agree with, like, conservatives. Like I said, I can go on the show and I could, like, pretty much handle all of their claims by myself, and I'm not that smart. It just takes a little bit of common sense. And one of the things that they disagree with is putting guns in the schools. And to be honest, I don't like that idea. Like, I don't, like, like that we have to resort to that, but if that's what we have to do to keep our, um, children safe, then we should do that. Instead of making them gun-free zones, taking away all the guns, which won't do anything. God, I don't see why people don't understand that. Either we start, we put guns in the schools, or we give veterans a job at, by defending our schools, like armed guards. We have plenty of veterans out there that are probably need one or need a job and would love to be able to help protect little ch children and stuff. Now, granted, some of them may have, like, uh, some sort of mental repercussions from being in the military, uh, and you should not let them, uh, like, in the schools if they're dangerous. Just use, like, uh, hire the ones that are good to go and all that, and then we'll be good. And I think that pretty much covers my hatred of the view and my other 
field artillery and gun control. With that in mind, I will see you guys later. And the next series I have coming up will be relationships. And that will be dandy. So, see you guys later. And have a good day. And God bless. And, 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 um, may the force be with you.